Hey fellow travelers, Jess here with Eagle Creek, and today we're gonna talk about saving space. That's right, no more sitting on your luggage trying to zip it closed. Today I'm gonna share some of my favorite tips with you that you can use when packing for your next trip. My first tip is to embrace the bulky. What do I mean by that? Simple. It's tried and true, you've probably heard of this before, but wear your bulkiest outfit on the plane. Put on that bulky sweater or jacket, and definitely wear your boots. Next, edit the shoes. Now speaking of boots, shoes are by far the biggest space hogs in your bag. So be really intentional about what you're bringing. Are you gonna be walking, going on runs, going out on the town? Any shoes you can remove mean that you are gonna be saving that much more space in your carry-on bag. My next tip, roll it. Now you may have heard this before, but rolling your items really does help save space. So roll basics like jeans, tees, and shorts. Tip number four, plan what you pack. It helps to determine which outfits you wanna wear on what day and for what activity. This goes a long way in preventing overpacking. If you can pack four outfits, great, but if you need some more options, go ahead and pack more tops because those take up less space. And if you really do need more bottoms, I'd recommend leggings over jeans, again, to help you save space. Next tip, go neutral. Another great way to save space is to bring a lot of neutral colored basics, stuff that mixes and matches well. So instead of bringing one tee for every day, bring stuff that you plan to wear more than one time. Which brings me to my next tip, laundry day. Do not be afraid to do laundry when you're on the road. Go ahead and think about it beforehand and bring yourself a 311 bottle filled with detergent so that you can quickly clean anything that you need in your hotel sink. I also love to travel with a clean dirty cube so that as you dirty things up, you can quickly sash them right there in the front water repellent side. Don't wait until the day before to do your laundry because it's the worst to travel with damp stuff. My next space savings tip is compression. Now there are a number of different compression options out there. I'm biased and I recommend using Eagle Creek's packet compression cubes. They come in both a small and a medium size. And they've got this little compression zipper on the side. And it is downright amazing how thin these guys get. Now, if you wanna take your compression to the next level, let me introduce you to Eagle Creek's packet compression sack. This guy is great for bulky jackets, sweaters, um, but I also like to use it for my dirty laundry. And check it out. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and like smooth your clothes out so they're kinda of equal on both sides, and then simply roll. Check that out. You've got 80% space savings possible with this guy. From compression to expansion. Now what about expansion? Soft-sided luggage is great for those trips when you wanna leave with a well-compressed bag, but you know that you're gonna be coming back with a lot of souvenirs. Expansion zippers mean that you'll have that much more space to bring home a treasure trove of goodies for your family and friends. Next tip, bags matter. So if you're really trying to save space, picking the right gear makes a lot of difference. A lot of people don't know this, but two-wheel bags generally have more space inside than four-wheel bags, just because there's more space to pack in between the wheels. And if you're going on a more adventurous trip, duffels are great because you can really cram them into smaller spaces. Last tip, guys, just the essentials. One of the most common issues with overpacking comes down to your toiletries. So leave the electric toothbrush, the oversized deodorant at home, and just grab whatever you need in a three ounce bottle size. Um, either the ones you find at the store or refillable bottles and bring only what you need. Remember, chances are you'll be able to pick up whatever you need once you arrive at your destination. And there you have it, space saving techniques from yours truly. You're welcome. Now get out there and go travel.